mushroom. Hi, Chelsea. Tell us a little bit about the tavern and your schedule and how it runs on a daily basis. Sure, yes. Yeah. So we're open seven days a week, 365 days of the year. We're open from Monday through Saturday. We have lunch service from 11.30 to 1.30, and then we have dinner service from 4.30 to 7.30, and on Sundays we have Sunday brunch from Ooh, 11 to 2. that's exciting. <laughs> and how many people do you serve on average each day? Um, it varies, but on for lunches, normally we do about 50 to 70 every single day, and then dinners, probably about 120 to 140 we serve. That including, that's including to-goes, too. Wow. What, how many are on your team to do that? That's a lot of people <laughs> each day. Um, so the kitchen, we have nine of us total in the kitchen. I have 18 servers and food runners and all out front. So it's, it's a big team. It takes a lot of us to get all, these, all this food out. Okay. And does everybody have to come to the tavern to eat or do you do delivery? No, nope, we do delivery. Um, what we do, they usually call it in or they put it on their KD. They can just submit an order. We prepare it. We put heating instructions in their houses and then security comes, picks them up and delivers them right to their house free of charge. Oh, wow. do you deliver outside of London there in case we need it? <laughs> I wish, I wish. <laughs> to, to your house? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I know that here in the kitchen, you like to use a lot of local, organic. Tell me a little bit about the menu and how you decide what's on the menu. Okay, so... We have a tavern menu. It is available every single day. It has about a little over 40 options on that tavern menu. That's not including our Sunday brunch. And then on top of that, we do daily lunch specials. We do daily dinner specials. We have a special dessert every night that's homemade, made by Chavante, our, our pastry chef in here. Um, but Normally, we change the tavern menu probably seasonally a couple times a year mm -hmm. just to offer different, more in-season product. Like, you know, in the summertime, Maryland has great, great produce uh, and right. fresh and local. And, and then it also, we change it up. We add some new things uh, just by resident feedback. If we do a dinner special a couple times every couple weeks and they love it, it sells out every single time, we kind of get back here in the kitchen and we're like, okay, how can we add that on our tavern menu to see, you know, if they would enjoy it every day? Like our London Dairy Burger, for instance, that was a great special that we did with our house-made bacon jam. Right. So we actually added that to our tavern. And I've had that yeah. <laughs> at least twice and it's delicious. Yeah, it's, um, it's super yummy. <laughs> so you run seven days a week, lunch, and dinner only, mm -hmm. and you do deliveries, and you do in-house. And I understand you also do um, the large parties that Londonderry has. Yeah. Um, so that's so quite a feat. I'm sure everyone has heard of our manor house. We have a lot of events that go on down there, weddings, uh, baby showers, bridal showers, all that good stuff. And just a lot of times residents throw parties in their houses, and we'll cater for that. We'll cater anything the residents need, really. And that's really nice. I do understand from some talk around the campus that you're developing your own seasoning for the table. <laughs> so yes. Tell us a little bit about how, why, why are you so, doing that and how are you doing that? So with our population, um, there are a lot of different dietary restrictions and just certain things. And the main thing is a low salt, you know, a low salt diet. So what we've come up with, Londonary has our special seasoning. It's, it's a top secret. I can't tell you what's in it. <laughs> so we wanted to recreate that and make it a salt-free version so that if residents, you know, a way to enhance if they wanted to add it to their soup or something, they can do that without adding salt to there. And so we've created something that's really cool, and that'll be featured on every single table out in the tavern. When is that going to roll out? Probably in the next couple of weeks, I'm waiting on the cool little jars and the little shaker things that were. Now, I know everybody in the community is getting very excited for the spring sign up for kitchen tours. Yes. But do you want to give us a little preview of your area? Sure, I can. Do you want me to show around the kitchen? Okay. Yeah. Um, so this is our tavern here, our Tread Avon Tavern. 
We seat 100 people. Um, and so how many servers do you have? The servers, we have about 18 of them. Uh, a lot of kids go right to school here at Easton. Um, they're in high school. Okay. We have some college kids that come home every summer and every Christmas break that help us out. And then we do have a full-time staff of lead servers and head server. Okay. Now, I've only been here for a short time, so I've seen a couple of things. And one thing I've seen that is very impressive is how you use local ingredients. That in is our biggest thing we love i love working with local vendors i mean of, of course there's a lot of benefits to supporting local businesses but what we've noticed in the kitchen the quality of just the product coming in it's not you know sitting in a warehouse across the country and shipped in a truck and then sitting in another warehouse right. i can literally text one of the farmers and be like hey what what's going to be ready this week and they let me know i mean they're taking it out of the ground that week it's so fresh so the quality, the flavor, and the aroma is so much, it's amazing. Yeah. And then on top of that, you are supporting these businesses around you. Like for our ice cream, for example, we have Scottish Highland Creamery. Oh, every <laughs> Yes. Every Monday, Christine, the owner there, and I are texting, and she's like, what flavors do you want this week? And I'm like, all right, well, let's let's try this one. Let's try this one. And they literally start making that ice cream right then and there, and they deliver it to us on Wednesday mornings. So, oh. Like I mentioned, we do have daily dinner specials. We usually do two different dinner specials, and that you know includes sides, the dessert, either a soup or salad, something. I think for tonight, for instance, we have a coca van tonight, which is mm. a chicken. We're doing some bone-in chicken thighs cooked in red wine with all the vegetables and everything. You know, is London Dairy is, um, is a co-op, mm -hmm. so we really work with our residents. Tell me a little bit about how you get their feedback. Dairy, we have a dining advisory group. Um, we have like five different neighborhoods from the 100s to the 500s, and mm -hmm. we get a representative from each neighborhood that is kind of their spokesperson. So other residents can go to them if they have questions about something on the menu, concerns. Obviously, my door is always open. The residents can come in the kitchen right. if they'd like to. But this, we meet once a month. We kind of go over new menu ideas. If I am changing the tavern menu, I bring it to them and say, what do you think? You know, Give this out to your fellow neighborhood and see what everyone thinks about it. Um, they actually were the ones who brought up a salt-free alternative to our London Dairy Spice along with um, we do homemade uh, vanilla extract. So are the residents allowed to bring guests or a family member? Yeah, we yeah. actually, we encourage that. We want family members to see, you know, how they're dining here at London Dairy. Yeah. It's really cool because we have the ability to be creative here. With those daily dinner specials and lunch specials, I will go in the kitchen, we'll have a weekly meeting and be like, all right, what do you want to cook this week? What do you, you know, what do you want to be creative with how can we tweak it to make it better? What can we do something really cool? And they love it. It gives them a sense of freedom in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Shavante is like, hey, I've been wanting to try this, like, you know, this pastry recipe. Can I can I serve that for dinner tomorrow night? I'm like, absolutely. Let's try it. So I've now, noticed some of the um, staff are in there studying. Yeah. And I've seen you help them with their little projects. So tell us a little bit about that support you get. So London Dairy has um, a tuition reimbursement program. Mm -hmm. I have a line cook in there right now. He started out years, years years ago, like while he was still in high school as a food runner. And then he kind of turned into a server here, a bus boy kind of deal. And once COVID hit, he was just helping us out in the kitchen, you know, helping us chop vegetables, that kind of stuff. And he fell in love with it. He's like, this is what I want to do. So he's in culinary school right now. Oh. So I actually have two of my cooks in there that are in culinary school. Oh, wow. I originally, I started running a bakery out right here in Easton. And then that moved to downtown Annapolis. And I was there for a while. And then I sort of became a private chef all over the place. I was in people's houses. I was meal prepping for a lot of things. I just trained under multiple different chefs. Um, and I actually went to school for like dietary and nutrition mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. So oh, that's, great. that's where it kind of all comes together here at London Dairy. So you have the background in cooking and, and all of that. And then I also have the background with the nutrition because right. like I said, our population is a little different. Um, well, I know you're one of our hidden gems here and our secret in your, <laughs> in your food. Everybody talks about how wonderful it is. The service I've been served in the dining room. It's top notch and the friendly family atmosphere you feel Thank here you. We just kind of goes through from the kitchen all the way through out to the plated service. So.